Hi, this is Blake at Human Factor, and we make podcasts for associations easy in three ways. Just remember www. First, the why. Why are we creating this podcast? And are there any others like it? This will help us implement a strategy for success and help find a way to integrate the podcast into your existing strategy. The next is workflow. We have to figure out a workflow to get the show recorded. Whether you want to come to our studio, record on the road, or record from your office, we've done it all so we can figure out what's best for you and what fits your budget. Last is the what, as in what to do with this. Since now we have goals defined in the strategy and some content created, we can talk about how to promote the show and maximize this content. We can figure out what social media platforms and different ways to boost it to the listenership. At Human Factor, we love helping membership-based organizations with their podcasts and add value to their community. For more tips and tricks, free videos and articles about podcasting, go to humanfactor.net. to Association Chat, produced by Amplified Growth and Human Factor, talking about all things association, nonprofit, and anything else that pops into my mom's head. And now, here is your host, Kiki Latalian. All right. We are here. We're here. I'm so excited. Love um, you, Mom. Aw, isn't she great? She's the best. She is love the you, best. Mom. I love you too, sweetheart. Love you, Mom. Uh, that's enough. Hey, that's Mom, enough. can we go to Hot Topic oh. when you get home? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. That was We're all over. the love you stuff. It's done. That's where done. all the love came from, the Hot all Topic right. trip. We are back, Blake. We're back. Uh, this is Association Chat, your online weekly podcast focused on the association topics du jour. Du jour? Du jour, yes. I mean, you know, my last name's Italian. I need to jazz it up or a little bit Or the Italian, if you watched on Facebook. <laughs> it's the Italian in French, Blake. <laughs> yes, the all Italian. Right. I mean, fancy. All right, so a quick shout out to our sponsors, uh, Human Factor, who makes the magic happen. The podcasting for associations, I'll do yours. That's Amplified right. Amplified growth. That's right. Right. He, uh, Amplified Growth, do. who can help you build your brand communities and communications in a way that makes people pay attention, and Human Workplaces, who can help you with your workplace culture. Thank you. Thank you. Our guest today is Dave Delaney. He's known as a communication connoisseur. Connoisseur. Yes, another French, another word. French word. And he helps companies reach their people through comprehensive marketing communication workshops and coaching. Dave teaches effective corporate communication with his communication mastery workshop. He works with brands like Google, LinkedIn, and UPS. But guess what, Blake? Today, he is here with us to work with us. And man, it's like he knows. You you need a lot of work. It's going to be epic. Yeah, it's going to be epic. If you are watching live, um, one of the best things that you can do from watching live is to participate with us, ask your questions. And um, so we have the opportunity today uh, to talk with Dave. Dave, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I met I met you uh, several years ago. And I think it was at Blog World. Did we figure out where it was that we actually met? Is it, um, Blog World? Yeah, this is before they changed their name. <laughs> Blog World. Yeah, well, no, it was a conference and, and there were a number of... Uh, Digerati, that digital luminaries who I met. I had a chance to meet Dave there and we connected and stayed connected online. And uh, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. In fact, in fact, uh, he has the nice guy, a nice person network. Is that it? Uh, n- networking for networking nice, people, for nice people. The concept. I got the concept right. I'm, I belong to it. I, I love it. I would never it. get in. You would never get yeah. in. He would like kick it. you out immediately. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, is it, that, yeah. Um, yeah, a perfect person to have something like this. And when I reached out to him, I said, look, I would love to have you on the show. You do so much. Um, and there are so many different things we could talk about on the show but what I what I asked him to do and what he's going to do today. Not that button, this button. <laughs> I was going to say it's the, the epic, epic, the epic music. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be epic. 
Uh, Dave is going to take a look at our LinkedIn profiles because here's the deal. One of the great things that he does is he can take, he will look at your LinkedIn profile and let's admit it, you know, your LinkedIn presence, uh, who you, who you show up as online really matters today. Your digital footprint is so important and your professional profile on the professional platform for social media Anytime there's an employer, potential employer, anytime somebody's looking on Google and they're searching your name, one of the top results they're gonna get is your LinkedIn profile. And Blake, do you feel like your LinkedIn profile is ready? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> well, I've seen your LinkedIn profile, Blake, and I think you should be. You know what's funny? Hold on, let me get that chicken. Let me get those chickens off. Hold on. Uh, hold on. You know what's funny about this is I almost uh, uh, fixed it up. Before uh, I came on, but I said, no, you told me not to. Just leave it the way it is. Oh, my gosh. I almost yeah. fixed it up, but I was like, no, I have to take it. I can take it. That would have ruined it. Yeah, that's that's yeah. cheating. cheating. Yes. Uh, so uh, are we going to jump right in to the epic thing? Or you, you want to give a, a little background on Mr. Uh, Mr. Dave of how he got into this first before he tears me Well, up. let me let Dave talk about it because, you know, I've said a lot, Dave, but I kind of gave a brief synopsis of who, of who you are. Why don't you why don't you talk to us about, you know, how you got into this and, and why this is a thing that um, I don't know why this is a, a specialty, I guess. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I, I well, first of all, thank you guys for having me. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. Um, yeah, for me, LinkedIn is an important I mean, it's 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 part of the overall, you know, your online marketing messaging. I mean, it has to nowadays it has to involve, you know, Google and, and certainly LinkedIn as well. And so um, a couple of things happened for me where I was um, advising a company, which later became, uh, which was later acquired mm -hmm. by LinkedIn. Um, and then LinkedIn had a conference in Nashville and they invited me to speak. And so I was one of the keynote speakers for their conference around the same time my book, uh, New Business Networking mm -hmm. came out. And so I spoke for, for their conference. And so um, all roads seemed to be leaning towards working, doing some work with LinkedIn and things. So um, you know, obviously I'd, I'd say, you know, it's arguably the most important social network for your profession, for, for you professionally. And that's not to say that you can't still, you know, generate business as a result of using, you know, Facebook and things, especially for nonprofits, you know, Facebook can be really beneficial that way in associations mm -hmm. and groups. Um, but LinkedIn is important as well. And as you said, you know, as far as SEO, you know, search engine optimization, when someone's searching your name, you can come up and, and look terribly or you yeah, can look pretty good. And yeah. so, <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's fascinating um, because, you know, I heard um, when I posted about this, it's always interesting to see how people respond to different show topics, different show guests. And um, a lot of people were saying, oh, wow, I need to I need to help my LinkedIn profile. But another person commented and they said, oh, well, you can just Google anything and, and get tips on on how to how to make your your improve your LinkedIn profile. But you know what? Mm -hmm. It depends on when that when those tips were published. It depends. I mean, because the the platforms have changed significantly. There are a lot of uh, things that used to be the that would be the number one piece of advice you give back in the day that it no longer applies. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that a lot of people maybe underestimate or undervalue how often their LinkedIn profile is maybe looked at. No, absolutely. You're right. And things do change. I mean, even just today, I think it was today or yesterday, LinkedIn announced LinkedIn's live mm -hmm. video, which isn't rolled out yet to normal people <laughs> yeah. uh, like yeah. us, uh, but it is coming to normal people like us. So, you know, that's something to get ready for as well. So LinkedIn, yeah, there, it's they've done such a good job over the last several years, you know, they re kind of rebranded re, or not rebranded, but they certainly relaunched LinkedIn. They changed up the user experience and the user interface on, on their website. Um, which, you know, at the end of the day, it is a website yeah. too. Which is, it's so funny to forget that. Don't we <laughs> like, we think of faith. Like I, ta I was talking to somebody not too long ago, it was an older, older lady. And she was telling me, she said, I saw something the other day on the internet that was so no, it was on Facebook. Oh. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> These are websites. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, it like so represents of, yeah. the internet, like the amorphous <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Right, yeah. People forget that. They're like, oh my gosh. Well, there's like 600 million people on LinkedIn. Yeah. So LinkedIn is its own thing. But I mean, really, Everything, you know, it's weird. At the yeah. 
it's and everything that it's taken on. I mean, over the years, it's done everything from you have like I remember when it was what SlideShare, you know, and now it's gone into there's education that's provided. I mean, there are there are a lot of different avenues you can take on LinkedIn, um, which mm-hmm. I think is fascinating. People, you know, people who don't actually spend the money to get the premium access or anything like that, some of the additional features, they don't understand how valuable other people find this platform to be because um, other people spend hundreds and thousands of dollars to actually have access to your profile, to, to be able to, to mm-hmm. find your information. So if you're not optimizing that, you don't know what you're missing out on. You have no idea. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, I, and I get hired by companies to come and actually, I just did um, a LinkedIn workshop with uh, Ginger Hardage a few months back, who was the former uh, CMO or uh, COO of of, chief culture officer, I think it was at Southwest airlines for 25 years. And she brought me in and did a workshop with her team on how to use LinkedIn because one of the common biggest mistakes about LinkedIn and is something I wrote about in my book and something I talk about at networking for nice people is, um, you know, managers or, or like CEOs or whomever, like the leaders, leadership of companies or the C-suite are nervous about letting their team use LinkedIn because they think, you know, Oh, they're trying to use it so they can find a new job. Right. When in actuality to use it, to build your network uh, can be invaluable because then you have a network of people that you can reach out to when, yeah, maybe you do have something to sell or talk to them about that would be good for their business. So, uh, you know, it's, it's such a, a misunderstood thing a lot of the times that LinkedIn means resume. Right. And that means that my, t- my people are not allowed right. to use LinkedIn because that means they're updating their resumes and it's just not I the think case. It's- I mean, sometimes it's probably the sometimes case, it always. is the case, but I think you're right. I think the the missed opportunity is well, think of all of the different um, when you could be a brand advocate, when you could be serving as yeah, I want to be the best representation of my brand, and and I'm a a great person for word of mouth. You want me to optimize my account so that I'm able to to be a good representative for that, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So. Um, and, and it should be mentioned, you guys, if you're interested in bringing Dave in, he does do workshops. He does keynote speaking on this and so many other topics. Um, I just there's a lot there. And so I want to show uh, on the screen. Can you pull up Dave's website? Yeah, I got it. OK. So if you're watching this uh, later, if you're listening to this, you're going to have to check it out on YouTube. But go to davedelaney.me. And you can yeah. then check out all about his different workshops, his speaking, his writing, and you can find out about how you could actually go more in depth and get your own LinkedIn profile audit, um, like what we're going to do. You can also check out his books because he's got a couple of books here, too. You know, one thing I want to note yeah. is that yeah. uh, you've got Improve with Improv. And I, yes. I haven't brought this up, and, and I didn't tell Blake that I was going to talk about this at all. Oh, geez. But one of the things that I've noticed about a lot of our guests is that um, they either have some kind of experience, they tend to have some kind of experience with improv or with stand-up comedy seems to be two different areas. And I can see how they overlap or connect. But... Um, you know, I think it's interesting because maybe it's like the same thing that's driving people. You know, I want to be my best. I want to be able to communicate better. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. I think um, for me as a keynote speaker, presenter and a trainer, like I I, I have to think quickly on my feet um, when problems are, uh, come up and, and I've had, you know, whether it's a technical issue or yeah. whatever it is. But I think my so my background, I trained uh, with second city in Toronto. And I graduated from, from that whole improv. Wow. Program. That is so cool. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, th- so after doing that program and it was like a five level thing, whatever, um, I moved from Toronto to London for a summer and I performed improv a few times in London that summer at a pub that I got. I, it was funny too, by the way, cause you walk in <laughs> You know, and I, after this improv show at this pub, I asked these guys, I said, hey, you know, is there any way I could perform improv with you? Do you ever bring on guests? And they're like, no, drunk, go back to your seat. <laughs> kind of thing. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And they're like, have you ever done it before? And I said, well, I trained with Second City like, in Toronto. Oh. And they're like, can you come back next Saturday? <laughs> You're in. Right, so straight yeah. away. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. And then, and then, so after a summer in London, I moved to Ireland and I lived in Galway, Ireland for wow. a few years. And while I was there, um, I, I put together an improv troupe and found a venue and we actually performed improv every Thursday night for gosh, like at least a year or so, year and a half. Um, and so I performed improv a lot in Ireland and then, um, kind of redis it was always there, but I've, uh, rediscovered it and realized that like improv is just such an important part of the work that I do. And actually I've created something called the communication mastery. And I come into companies and I actually teach them how to communicate more effectively with oh, each other. That's so cool. Um, and I do it like a lot of the stuff that I've learned over the years. Um, but, but improv plays a big part of that as well. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm very passionate about improv. I was performing with the Nashville improv company here. Um, I, I'll tell you that very yeah. quickly. I auditioned on a win. Really? Oh, oh God. Okay, Blake, Blake, I'm having this. I just want to say to you, Dave, and to you, Blake, I yeah. um, and the reason why I'm nodding at you this way is because you're up on the wall for me right now. But but yeah, um, no I'm telling both of you guys right now and everybody watching, everybody watching, that uh, I want us to have a live improv. I want this Isn't to be that a live kind of every show thing. we do. Well, no, but That'd I mean, focused on improv, <laughs> like with improv exercises and everything. I think that that would be so cool. It, it's improv teaches you, it teaches you how to listen effectively and actively. It teaches you how to lead with empathy. And this is the stuff that I teach. It leads, it teaches you not to fear uh -huh. failure. Like it, it's amazing the stuff that you can draw from improv and learn um, from, from performing and, and just from learning some of these things. And that's why, like, I put it into a workshop that I started doing and have had amazing success from like a lot of people love it. I spoke at, um, HubSpot's inbound conference in 2015 or 16 and did oh, a talk that would be so about great. using improv that's for your cool. communication. Yeah, that would be and, really cool. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's yeah. fun. So we're we getting okay. into the crucifixion. Is that, is that <laughs> we do this? We're getting sponsor? into the crucifixion. <laughs> we do the I just, sponsor thing first and, or you do some more then. Um, no, let's do a little bit more before we jump over to okay. the sponsor because we got started a little bit late. Stacy, hi, I see you uh, watching live. Reed, I see you watching live. Thanks for saying something, guys. It's good to see you on YouTube. It's good that you found us. Um, let's go ahead and jump over. Now, what's the best way to do this? We've got I, well, we've got you have Blake's, to set it up. We've got Blake's profile. And we've mm -hmm. got my profile, and I've got the profiles up on my screen. Yours would probably be quicker. I don't. I I think. Why don't we leave it up to the guest? Yes, I think we should ask Dave what he thinks. It's up to you guys. How did you want to do it? Do you want me to share my screen with you? I have. Or is that uh, so possible, the deal is, I have. I have her screen. I can look at anything. We have like nine cameras in the studio. Yeah, right we now, have so. like nine different shots. So we could pull it up on on mine. But let's go ahead. Let's pull it up on mine and let's let. Why don't you walk us through what you see, on Dave? Who? Yeah, okay. on Blake's. All right. Here, uh, here we go. <laughs> 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 oh my! Maybe gosh. that you know the way. I'm not going to tell him how to do his job, but the way they did this, uh, you did this actually at Great Ideas, is you said somebody else look and tell tell them. At the, you did a conference where you said, look to the person next to you, Google them, and tell them what they do. Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that a way to yeah, do it? Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, this is improving, so. Yeah, no, I, I am not uh, with you on that. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll that <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. Idea. Well, it's well, her idea. It's because the different search results end up different, like bringing up different results for different people. Right, so if he looked at my LinkedIn. Yeah, so it's more effective when you're like Googling somebody else, for example, um, that's right, not well, a stranger. let's just dive in then, and I'll put yeah. a picture of Dave up and a picture of my... Uh, my LinkedIn, which I have not touched okay. in probably four years. Yes. How do I do that? I've got I this here. so I just want to say something, people. Like, it, like I am talking to everybody here watching. Do you have it up on the screen yeah. yet? Yep. There's a little bit. Of, okay. I know Blake pretty well, and every single time I talk to him, I find out one more thing that he does. He can play a million different instruments. He creates instruments on his own. He uh, oh, cool. he has worked with numerous celebrities. He has multiple businesses. I mean, the guy is really um, he's definitely someone who who, you know, knows a lot about a lot of different things. And I have to tell you, Blake, <laughs> your LinkedIn profile. What? You're not supposed to. You're polluting the guests. You might I'm just it. saying I feel like anybody 
Well, from the outset, All would right, land it on. on your it's LinkedIn on. profile. It's on. There it is. And would be like, what? <laughs> I don't know. But but yes, Dave, talk to us. What do you see? Okay. So first question is, how do I see it? Because I don't see it. You don't see oh, his can, profile? Can, can you, just, you can Google it, Blake Alvin, LinkedIn. It should come right up. That should work. Blake Alvin, yeah. I sent and oh, I sent a link. So you want me to go to the you want me to just look at it? In yeah, the yeah, that's fine. Yep. Okay. So without sharing yeah, yeah. screens. Okay, got it. We can put okay. on music and wait while so. you <laughs> You can get an association mug if you You can get an association chat mug. All you, you have to do is tweet I love association chat. Hashtag Association Mug Life. Right? Association Mug Life. We're letting Dave get the there's your, thing going. There's your giveaway opportunity. Are we ready, Dave? All right. I'm ready. Yes, I am. And we'll go back to the split screen. Okay. As soon as I remember how to do that. Okay. Kiki, pull so, it up on yours. Yes. Okay. I. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So, so to your point, I mean, making sure that you're clear. I can take you it. Know, like, like anything we do with marketing, we want to always consider like the call to action, the CTA, what we want, what do we want the person to do who discovers us, right? And what do we want them to know? So like with everything we do online, what is it that we want someone to do? So for like, for this, for this podcast, maybe it's subscribe to the podcast, maybe it's leave a comment to interact with you. Um, maybe it's, you know, interact right now. Like, what is it that you want people to do? So with your LinkedIn profile, you know, you should be thinking the same thing. Like, do you, what do you want to do? What, what information do you want to relate to the mm-hmm. person? Right? Okay. So like, what do you want to, what do you want, do people, want to, people to, people to, to know do? about you? Um, I'll see. That's an interesting point. Cause I do have a couple different businesses and uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, you're, I'm on the spot here. I'm thinking. S- well, think about it. And yeah. what to your point about that, numerous businesses, a lot of people do. I think more and more of us have numerous skills, have uh, skills, side hustles. We have different things that we're trying mm-hmm. to maybe we have one thing that we're doing, but we're also trying to spin up something else. So, right. Well, if you are. So if it is a side hustle and something that you are concerned about, um, you know, obviously, hopefully you're not doing anything that conflicts with, with, with your yeah. work. But at the same time, if you're trying to start a side business or something like that, that, you know, me, I don't know, you can turn off updates in the mm-hmm. settings on your profile so that your LinkedIn connections will not be alerted when you make changes to your profile. So if you're adding something to your profile that maybe you don't want your employer to know about, um, you know, I mean, of course, they could look at your profile and learn about it later. But if you don't want to alert people of changes you're making, um, you can turn off that setting in the in your in your profile setting so that nobody yes. sees it. On the flip side, though, if you launch something new and you want the world to know, or at least let your connections know, then I would make sure that 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 update is turned on so that people can see that you've changed something or you've added, and you get those notifications all the time when like a friend gets promoted and gets a new job title or somebody has, you know, started a new job or a new uh, yeah. company. Um, so make sure that those are, you know, on or off right. depending well, on. Let's go with, uh, since this is association chat, let's go with making podcasts and flash briefings for, for associations. associations. Let's go down that ra- that, okay. that rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. Right. So right now, like you have, you know, what's called a cover image on your profile. That's just blue with a bunch of lines yeah, I drew and that. dots. Um, yeah, and it's very pretty. Is that something no, honestly that you some made? Some template. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, and again, if if it's not what you're selling, if it is, you know, so I should I, I should get something there. Uh, you all should right, get something there. Down. Yeah. And so you, I'm writing that down. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I would update that image. Um, there's a great website, free service called Canva.com. Canva. I don't. I'm not in, you know, involved yeah. with Canva, but that's a good one that has social media templates that you can download and then you can upload images add some t- uh, text if you want. Um, if you bring bring up my my profile for a sec, I can't see your screen. So if you can bring okay. up my profile for it. one sec. Put the music Wait. on. All right. Gosh. With a Kiki. Yeah. I this know. is our, our pulling up. I feel like I'm at a Tiki bar. Pulling up website music. Yeah, I like it. If I can type. <laughs> I, I chatted the, you the link to make it easier. There we go. We got it? Yeah. All right. I talk with my hands. So like every photo of me speaking has like my hands are like flying That's good. It's all right. Um, so you can see on my profile there, it says, I teach companies how to reach their people. Okay. Yeah. Right there in the, in that picture. See I see that? it. Yep. Yeah. So I used Canva for that. I added, I added that, that Canva. copy there. 
Um, so it's important also to remember that your profile image, that round photo, that headshot, um, you know, will will overlay the image, that cover image. So make sure that like if you're using text, you don't want the head, your face to be over the right. text. Right? Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go back to your profile here for a sec. Okay. Um, so sc scrolling through, I have sent you a connection request, okay. by the way. Shall I accept it? Um, uh, if you dare. <laughs> I'm going um, on, I'm going to do it. <laughs> by the way, and, and I sent you a little note with that. Um, that's a very, very, very important thing that I believe with LinkedIn is when you send a connection mm -hmm. request, add a personal yes. note, add a note. Um, and there is a way that you can actually retract. I don't know if you've ever done this where you send a connection request to somebody, you hit the connection button accidentally thinking, oh, no, 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 I needed to write them a note to remind them yeah. who I am. Okay, so you met. sent me, a, you said, so, let's connect uh, since, let me see, see more. You said, uh, let's connect since I'm reviewing your LI profile for the podcast. So right? I'm going to accept it. You want me to do that, right? Yeah. All right, done. <laughs> sure. So, um, but that's to that point though, you want to like, whenever you send a connection request, I get a lot of connection requests. And unfortunately, like everything, there's spammers and scammers and fishers and all that stuff that are out there. Fishers. Yeah. Right. Fishing yep. scammers. <laughs> also scammers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems like they've gotten worse um, too lately. Right. I mean, it, to me, it does. It seems like there have been more and more people or it, if it's not even, it's not exactly scams, but it's just people who are trying to connect to sell overtly sell oh. and it just seems like this I, onslaught in the past like maybe year or two that drives me crazy it, like the when somebody sends you a connection request and you're like oh well they look nice yeah and, um, you know oh that's that looks yeah. interesting so you accept their connection request and as soon as you do <laughs> it's like as soon as you do they send you a message saying hey want to buy a set yeah, of steak right <laughs> um, <laughs> or the equivalent right. yes yeah and I, I i always reply like we haven't even gone on a first yeah. date yet like you want to go all the way. I've heard though. I've heard that there are actually people out there preaching that this is the way that you're supposed to get more and more connections. I'm like, who is doing this? Why would you do that? It's just it, all it does for me, at least, is I, I don't even trust it if I see that they know one or two people I know anymore because I'm like, oh well, they just let them through the door and I don't know that they're that they've been properly vetted. You know, um, it, dr it, it is crazy. crazy. So. And it gets into like what I wrote about it uh, in my book, all about networking, because, you know, networking has negative connotations, of course, because of people right. like this, because, and I always say like, when you're online, behave like you're offline so that you wouldn't probably, hopefully you wouldn't just interrupt somebody speaking at a, at a networking event or a conference or something to try to sell them a set of steak knives or come up to somebody cold in the hallway and say, Hey, you want to buy this? Yeah. But that's how they're behaving. Yeah like, you know, on LinkedIn or on other social as mm -hmm. well. Um, in fact, there's a really great uh, blog post by my friend, uh, Mitch Joel, who wrote, um, he has a, a, a blog called Six yes. Pixels or Six Pixels of Separation is his cool. podcast. And he wrote a blog post recently and I'm trying to find the name. It was, oh, it was called Not Everyone is a Prospect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I loved it. It really resonated. So I actually send a link to that now when people solicit me. Oh, that's me. so good. I just send them a link to that. That's so mm -hmm. good. I love it when yeah. people try to sell me the same thing that I do. I, it's oh, like, that's fun. Yeah. That's, I love oh. that. Do you get that? I'm not, there's not tons of people in the, the podcast for associations, but in mixing, I do. Yeah. 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 Well, I do. Yeah. I do a lot of work and I actually speak on behalf of Google. Um, uh, a lot. And so I, and I get these like SEO yeah. scammers who send messages saying, you know, Hey, want to get to number one oh, on Google? Every day. And I'm like, hmm, have you looked at my website? I know. I, know. I yeah, mean, I get that why would you every think day I get, we were looking at fill in website. Yes. And then, it, and then it's like, we well, can get yeah. you more hits and this and this. I, I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Or why they do it. So annoying. All right. Okay. Back so to let's, me. So let's back to down. <laughs> yeah. Back to the, the to the meat yes. of this thing. Right. And by the way, I, I have something like an offer for your listeners if they want to, to if they want me to look at their profile, I can, I can. Oh, yeah, right. let's we'll put music on and everything. That. And so if you're listening to this yeah, point yeah. in the podcast, then look in the show notes. We'll have more information uh, yeah, there. And if you are listening to this live, then perk up your ears and don't go anywhere because this is going to be really important to hear. Yeah. Okay. So under, so under experience, um, you've got owner human factor, but it doesn't tell me anything about human right. factors. So, well, actually let me, let me scroll back okay. up for one sec. 
what I like is that you've used, um, you mentioned podcasts. So you, and you've used that word in your, um, summary on the topic. You got a like profile. Kiki. So <laughs> you got a like, <laughs> What's, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so make, so making sure that you, um, that it's kind of clear what you do there, um, is important and using those keywords when possible is, is also important. Um, but scrolling back down to experience. So under your experience, experience okay. Yeah, you can write uh, like I can't remember the the number of characters. I think it might be five hundred, might be a thousand characters under each experience yeah. section, so that you can write more about what you do for each company or what you've done for right. You know, In other so words, owner stuff. owner human factor tells us nothing about right. what you're doing right. there. Um, what what human factor so, is, you know. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and you mentioned uh, SlideShare earlier. Well, well, LinkedIn acquired SlideShare, you know, actually it was quite a few years ago now, but SlideShare really plays nicely with your LinkedIn profile. So if you have a slide deck that kind of walks people through, or if you're going to create one of some of the, the things that you do, you can actually add a slot, a link to a SlideShare deck in your experience so that it'll add as media and it looks really nice. People can flip through it right from your profile. Right. I'm just writing SlideShare. Slide share, and that will link in through some sort of button I find somewhere. I take it. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, something else that's missing is your summary. summary. So that's so that is a profile mm -hmm. summary. Um, go back to my profile for for one okay. sec, and you'll see right at the top it says, "Hi, I'm Dave Delaney." Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks nice. It. <laughs> yeah, and you can see like some of these, some of those links are like the first ones to my speaker uh, sizzle reel and then to my book, but there's some slide shares on there too. If you click see more, mm -hmm. see more. you can see that that's I my see summary. It. And, and I love that you have your contact information included at the bottom too. You have bullet points yeah. for people like as fun facts where it's this bite-sized yes. information. And so, you know, um, from what I understand about SEO, you know, this is really great because people who are searching for exactly what your skills are, are able to find your information there. They're able, you know, your profile is more likely to get pulled up on that stuff when you include information about the different things that you do. Plus, if somebody's looking at it and wanting to just understand you a little bit better, you've kind of got the story. Like, this is my synopsis. Yeah. Right. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's some, some points to this too. When you write online and I do blogging workshops and have over the years as well, just through content and all that good stuff. Um, you know, when you write for the web, you want it to be kind of quick snippets, especially these days when our attention spans, you know, there's like, there's, there's puppy videos we, we could right. be watching right now. <laughs> um, so our attention span so short. So like making sure that things are broken up into like really short snippets, short paragraphs, bullets, you know, that kind of thing. There is a reason why things are laid out that mm -hmm. way online because people just don't, unless it's, if it's long form, it's a different story. Cause usually that's like a longer article or content that someone's trying to read. Um, but in the case of a profile, I would break it up this way. Okay. Um, another little hack here is um, LinkedIn. Don't give you the ability to add bullets uh -huh. into your profile. Um, it's kind of, it's pretty simple. It kind of plain text texty in a way. So there's a website and there's others like it called, um, the one I go to is called copy paste character. Copy paste character. Paste character. Com. Copy paste character. Just spelled out character. Yes. Take it. Correct. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And what does that do? Um, and so they, it has a ton of little like bullets and icons and imagery that are text form images that you can copy and paste into other documents. So for example, in my profile name, if you scroll back up to the top of okay. my profile, you'll see a happy little coffee cup next to me. Because yeah. I like coffee too. Yeah. Much. I, like coffee too. So, the coffee? I don't see the coffee. Where's right the by coffee? his name. Oh, right. right. That little thing. And I'm on a teeny screener. So yeah. Look yeah. At that. So when you're looking at like you're perusing LinkedIn and you're looking up whatever, uh, if somebody has a little coffee cup or a symbol next to their name, it makes it stand out mm -hmm. a little more. Huh. Um, and then in the in the summary section, if you scroll okay. back down to the fun yes. facts, again that little finger, that little hand pointed to the fun facts. That's a coffee the Kiki? character. It's Meeple. all the way. If you scroll down Pardon? into the summary. In the about mm -hmm. midway down, if you go show more, oh. about midway down, you'll see a little finger going, hey, fun facts. And then it goes into right. the bullet points. And that's with the copy character? Yeah. 
copy copy, copy paste, paste character. character there it is yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and same at the bottom of my profile, you'll see a little phone receiver and then a little email address or a little email yes. icon. Again, those are from I that love too. that. So you, you can actually, yeah, it just makes it stand out. It makes it a little easier to yeah. read. Um, I don't suggest going crazy with these, but, you know, adding a few here and there kind of spruce Well, it up and it makes bit. it stand out just a little bit from every other profile that you mm -hmm. see. And by the way, guys, when people are, when they're recruiters, when they are, you know, press, when they are looking for fast information and that's part of their job, they look at so many of these all the time that any little thing you can do to kind of set yourself apart will will help right you definitely yeah yeah um so and then the other thing that i'll talk about um and really like a lot of this stuff applies to it may apply to both of you um oh, or, kiki's you next know, kiki's next day <laughs> stick to me yeah. i don't know <laughs> keep, it, keep an yes. eye on the time um just make sure um so let me see what else. So of course, activity. So when, you know, um, it's important to, to use LinkedIn. So um, I do a lot of, uh, like, I'll talk more about like LinkedIn Pulse, which is LinkedIn's blogging platform, which is called, I don't think it's called mm -hmm. Pulse anymore, but that's what it was called about, you know, writing articles and publishing on LinkedIn. That's, that's a great thing to do. I see you've done that here, how to attract sponsors to your mm -hmm. podcast. So it's great to do that. And, and then also to share and comment on articles. And I can see that you've been doing that as well, which is good. Um, so that helps. And then you can see like you've got 261 followers. Is that awesome? awesome? So, yeah, that's good. I mean, for me, I'm always a quality well, I was going to ask you that, person. Dave. So, uh, you know, you, all these people yeah. that, that – all right, put it this way. What do you accept? What do I have to do to get you to – if I just emailed you out of the blue and said, I know Kiki, would you have accepted – um, maybe, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a good, it's a good question. Um, I'm, so I just celebrated 12 years on Yay. Twitter yesterday. <laughs> Not sure why we <laughs> clapped for that, but no, no, that's a big, that's a I big know, right? momentous it's like, thing. I feel did you like have a party. I mean, I like, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, my daughter's I, 11. Like, you know, it, when you have a relationship with a technology for that long. Yes. So congratulations. It's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> I wasn't. The reason why I brought it up, though, was um, from back in the day, like you would always accept everyone's yes, friend. Well, I did, obviously. We just follow yeah. back willy nilly. And I think that's a wrong approach. I don't think it's worth um, just accepting every connection request. So that's why I stress writing a personal note is so important. So, so if you were like, you know, on the blue Blake and you send me a personal note and said, Hey Dave, you know, we'd love to get to know you better. And because of this, this, and this, I see you're a, a recovering podcaster, yeah. um, you know, something like that, then we'd have something to connect about. And so I'd be more likely to accept your connection request. Um, so it's really important to send those reminders to people. And that's why I like with networking, I always say like the first, the most important part of networking is, is going yeah. to the event, is showing yeah. up. And the second most important part is following up. And so using LinkedIn to follow up is so important. And the way to do that is to email the person after the event to say, Hey, it was great to meet you at the conference of the event, what have you. Um, you know, yes, you're right. The salmon was delicious. <laughs> and what do you think about so-and-so speaker yeah. and, and, and all this stuff to remember, to remind them where you met. And then when you, when you have, you know, when you hear back from the person, you can say, Hey, by the way, I'm going to send you a LinkedIn connection request. If it's okay. Um, you know, I'm happy to provide you with an introduction to anyone in my network if you need it. Oh, so so I just want to say I, I I had to go and check over on our our friends watching on YouTube Live and uh, Stacy, she she shares the only profession that can walk into a room and every single person is a potential client would be morticians, and oh. so. <laughs> <laughs> That, oh, I might steal I that mean, line. That's great. That is like one, that's one association I've never spoken to is the Morticians I bet Association. It's big money. So. I bet it's big money. I bet it yes. is. I it bet their is. parties are yes. amazing. So, yeah. So, <laughs> that's great. so. All right. What else? Anything yeah. else on me? Because that's what I'm really interested in. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've got your articles and your activity, Blake. Yes. And we know that you need to have that summary that you need to talk a little bit more about what human factor is right. and and yeah. some of those 
facts about some of the things that you do. And your I need skills. a slide slave or whatever it is. I can't slide, slide share. <laughs> slide share. Yeah. But it doesn't have right. to be slide share. It could be YouTube. It could be a blog post. Well, and whatever. moving over to <laughs> Dave's yeah, example, yeah. like if we look at Dave's, right. you can Pull see he has links. He has videos. So I, I can look at his, and I'm looking at the very bottom, right underneath your contact. Let's see the plays. Let's see the plays. Yeah, and and mm-hmm. so it's. Are you on it? You want me to play it? No, I just see. Yeah. Here we go. I'm right. pushing play. You have to turn it up. And this is. Well, yeah. I have the sound off. There we go. Look at that. That's it. Yeah. There so is. this is Dave Delaney, marketing communications keynote speaker. Laugh there and he learn goes. Up with on the Dave. Stage. Yes. And you Hugging can actually somebody. look at that. He's optimized everything. You can view and it goes to another, it goes to the bigger video up on YouTube. You can like it there. Oh, look, I've already liked mm-hmm. it. <laughs> I've already liked it. Well, thank you yes, for the like. <laughs> I was one of the nine. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. But it's good. 321 views. And that shows you that, and that was just uploaded at the end of this, this last year. So mm-hmm. he's the communication connoisseur. And uh, it tells us all about you. So, and that's just one one of those different elements. By the way, I love this right. this reel uh, that you have. Oh, thank you. Um, but that's just one of the elements that he includes. And I can see that one, two, three, four, five, and then there's eight more that I could click on that tells you. So, if you're yeah. wanting to hire him for speaking or for anything else, you can probably dive into these different sections. So when we go back over to yours, Blake, we no, see. Don't. Oh, that's right. There's nothing. There's <laughs> wait, wait, nothing wait, wait, there's there. Nothing what? I have to push buttons here. What, what is it? What's nothing? It's called your yeah. summary. Summary. Right. Your summary. All right, my summary. I'm ready to announce summary. So I what should to... my summary say? Can I give an example of of, of me? Oh, well, kind of my. I always recommend writing it in first person. Um, I find that third person ones kind of come off like politicians. a little strange sometimes. Um, so I, you know, I mean, I think if it's a company page, then third person is fine. Right. But I think uh, first person is good for a profile because you're connecting with that other person. You're not connecting with that company. So you should be learning about who that person right. is, you know, unless you're like some, I don't know. You're Richard I think, Branson. I, I, yeah, I don't, I think first person. I don't even think, yeah. Right. I mean, but even still, he, he would just barely be getting away with it, I think. Like. If I went over and I saw Blake Alton as blah blah, I would I would know two. I've things. always maintained that it's pretentious, but yeah, I would I would look at it mm. and I would think um, That's either it. I might, I either might one that, he is out of touch and he's not checking this and he has somebody else doing it for him, or two he's right. out of touch and he's doing it pretending like somebody else is writing. That's it. For it. Him. <laughs> I hope I didn't. I hope right, I, hope I right. didn't do that. <laughs> So, so I mean, I didn't do it because I didn't do anything. So I need to worry about. (laughs) All right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would definitely add stuff. And I mean, and as a visual guy and a podcaster, I mean, you've got, there's no shortage of content. Oh yeah. I mean, I have tons of demo stuff I can put up, but I don't know. Yeah. All right. Um, Anything else? So, and then I'm trying to think what else. So um, recommendations. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I'm recommendations, I think is probably one of the most important parts of your profile. Um, the best way to get recommendations is to ask, um, ask your, your happiest customers, your happiest cu- clients, um, ask them for a recommendation. First of all, I do that, um, after engagements with uh, speaking engagements or with my clients. So I always ask for a speaking or a, for a LinkedIn recommendation. Um, when you write a recommendation for someone, you, they are prompt with the option of like reciprocating. So they could actually write one afterwards for you. But of course in networking, you're not, you're, you don't do things with the intention of like, Oh, I'm going to get this back instead, like just be cool and do it. And so since Blake, you don't have any recommendations on your profile, right? Right now that I see the best thing to do is to start writing recommendations. for people. So I, so I, I, it's like a trade Um, almost. Cut, or it my could, back. It could, it's, well, it it's could not a trade. I mean, do way. it because it's a right. cool thing to do. This is where the nice guy stuff fits in. Yeah, I don't right? understand nice guys. Right. Stuff. So if you, but there's this, so it's actually in your, in your favor to be the nice guy All right. is what we're saying. There's strategy behind it. If nice you guys have, finish if you last. I'm told nice guys finish last though. You were wrong. I, I mean, they're wrong. No. <laughs> Whoever they are. They were they. wrong. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Whoever they are. They're liars. They're not dirty liars. Yeah. So yeah, networking. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. And I, and I do have this, like some of this information over at networking for nice people, but yeah, I do recommend 
um, writing for rec writing recommendations for people and don't write it for just anyone you've met, like write it. Like that's where endorsements come in mm -hmm. in a way. Like, um, and I'll talk about that in a sec, but um, recommendations are important just because it, it gives you a chance to like, if somebody, let's say somebody helped you with a podcast with like editing it or, or whatever, um, then you can write a, a recommendation and write it like, you know, because recommendations take a couple minutes at yeah. least to write. I mean, you know, it gives you the option of writing about a paragraph. And if you look like, by the way, I'll, I'll give you this as an example too. If you go, go back to my profile okay. for a sec and then scroll down to the recommendations okay. section. Scrolling. Scrolling. All right, which education? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Skills and endorsements. Skills and, and then endorsement. look at all those recommendations. He's given 49. He's received 84. Right. So I have 84 people on my re of recommendations. That's 84 people that have said nice things about working yeah. with me. Like uh, Melissa on the top there. I actually just did a LinkedIn audit for her. So she, and she saw me speak at a conference and that's how we met. So, so I actually, she wrote I that. Go for over me. and look at mine. Um, I've only got 21 on mine. Is there anyone you don't know who's recommended you? Um, no, I think everybody, I'm pretty certain everybody is someone I know. They're usually a, a, a yeah, that's client. I would figure that's you know, just curious. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be weird if that would be weird <laughs> but, um, you also, by <laughs> the way, by the way, you also, um, yeah. that, that's something important to note. You don't have to accept the recommendation you get. Like, have you ever gotten a recommendation and you know where it's mm. like, do you want to add this to your profile or not? And you thought, oh, right. I don't know, because sometimes and through no fault, you know, of your own or not to put blame on people, but they're not the best at communicating through through mm. writing. And so, you know, there have been a couple of times where I've been like, this doesn't really say much. And I appreciate the gesture, but, you know, I don't know that it's something that yeah. really compels anybody to do anything yeah you know you're absolutely right um yeah you can actually request and it depends on the yeah. relationship of course but you can actually request an edit too so you can you can before you accept it you yeah you can respond and say thanks would you mind tweaking this job title or this thing that you mentioned because i actually am not doing that as much anymore oh or that's whatever. yeah that's a good um, idea that's yeah. cool yeah yeah so that really helps. And by the way, um, I'll show you something cool. So if you go, um, let's see, if you go to, um, if you go to future, or if you go to my website, Dave Delaney. Okay. Let's get our music going. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Dave Delaney. Dot me. Dun, 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 dun. Reverb. Come Dave on. Delaney. Dot me. Okay. Wait, no, we're here. Okay. We're where, here? And where are we going? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, and, and just click uh, like communication, communication mastery, mastery workshops. workshops. I'm there. So this I'm is there. The, uh, the improv communication right. workshops I did. Scroll down um, till you see uh, uh, Morgan's smiling face there on the bottom. On the right. bottom right. In the red do, 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 do. under okay. testimonials. I'm waiting for the graphics to catch up. Our, our, okay, there we go. Yes. We have nine cameras on the Wi Fi. Morgan, so fantastic. There's Morgan. So you see, so you see these testimonials? Yeah. And you can mm -hmm. click through them. These are all testimonials from my LinkedIn profile. Wait, does this automatically update if someone gives you a new one? N no. Yeah, that, no, it's but, not that. That's but, an idea that for pretty. a plug-in. What, um, what a great point, though. I mean, that's such a great point because you get those testimonials. And I made then, a great point. What's that? Did I make a great point? I don't think so. Oh, damn. But, but it was actually <laughs> Dave's point and why we're here. But, but yes, yeah. you get those testimonials and you can use them other places. You know, you've got them and yeah. you've got the hardest part mm -hmm. done, which is, at, you know, having R received right. them. And, go, go. I'm sorry. And, 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 and to your question, Blake, like the, the trouble with doing that, if you were to do it with a plugin or something, is I'm picky with... Like I get recommended, I mean, these are recommend recommendations I've accrued over like several years. So some may not apply to everything I do now. Um, or, you know, I use like the speaking recommendations on my speaking mm -hmm. page, I, you know, so if you go like back and you go to, um, uh, go to Dave Delaney me again, and then if you click speaking and speaking info mm -hmm. in the drop down right there, okay. um, speaking and speaking info. Yeah. Yes. Info. Yeah. Dave, I got to ask, how long do you spend on this stuff? 
This on what? Dan and maintaining all this seems like a full time job. Well, no, I mean once you've optimized it, you know, and you've you've made the changes you need to make, then you're you're then you're good. I mean, then it's really a matter of you know updating it from time to time and just committing a little bit of time each day, like you would to maybe other social networks. Um, or to, you know, other things that you're doing. Like I, I, you know, I mean, it's an important part, especially if you're working for yourself, which I do, um, you know, I want to, uh, I, we're at the top of the hour and we've, we've gone a little bit long because I wanted us to be able to just crucifixion. Yeah. Get fully crucified, Blake. (laughs) I'm next next. one day. No, you're you're after the break. (laughs) See that setup? No. Your Kiki get crucified. (laughs) You guys. One thing. One thing. I'll, or, or yeah, let's do a break, and then I'll come back really quickly, and I'll make one other point. Um, okay, let's go. do that. And I'll look let's at, do that. Right. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit longer. So. Uh, Culture tip number five, technology equals culture. In this day and age, every organization relies heavily on technology to get the job done, but have you ever thought about the impact of your technology choices on culture? Because you should. The technology you use internally can facilitate the behaviors you know you need inside your culture to make you successful, or it can get in the way. So choose wisely. Does each department use a different internal collaboration tool? No, no wonder your silos are so strong. Are you using technology to enable peer-to-peer feedback or is all the feedback top-down through your performance review? When you align your tech choices with your culture priorities, you'll see increased success. That was Culture Tips brought to you by humanworkplaces.net. They are having too much fun in the chat on YouTube. You guys are crazy. It did take a little bit of a morbid turn talking about funeral directors and <laughs> like all what? of this. You guys, uh, you you have no, you have to did check the funeral, out the chat. Did the funeral uh, director association chime in? <laughs> no, but it was a great discussion about if you uh, you know the morticians showing up and talking to their prospects. Okay, so we are back. <laughs> We're back and we're talking with Dave Delaney. And so, Dave, you were going to say when we come back after the break, you want to touch Make on one something. last final brilliant point about my my site, my uh, LinkedIn page. I don't know if it was about yours. Yeah. So I was I was going to go to yours, actually. Um, uh, and under well, either way, regar- regardless, I was going to talk about just very quickly about skills. And OK, endorsements. so I'm on mine and I'm going under skills and endorsements. Okay. So. It, LinkedIn changed it a while ago so that only the top like few LinkedIn, um, it used to be the top 10 LinkedIn skills show up before someone clicks okay. the button. So make sure that your, your, the skills that are most applicable to your profile, to what you do for a living are at the top of your oh. section. So you can drag and drop these. That's really um, interesting. I had so not So you wanted to do, what that. do you want her to do? Well, so drag and drag and drop so, your and skills. I'll tell, I'll tell Dave what I'm doing here. Um, since you're not seeing my screen and if you can make sure that's popping up, yeah, I, got, I got your, so, up. so I clicked on, um, I clicked on where I could edit it and it goes to reorder skills and endorsements. This, you guys, this is something that I had not kept on top of. I did not know that you could do this. I did not know that. At the very top, I have right. social media blogging and social media marketing, but you know, down here below, there's all uh, all these other types that I've been endorsed for, but they're not at the top three. So which three do I really mm-hmm. want to focus on? And I can change those. I can move those. That is such good advice. That is pretty cool. And by the way, for business development, if you choose, like, let's say you choose social media, the one at the top there. Um, if you click the endorse section, you can actually see all the people that have endorsed you for that mm-hmm. skill. And you can scroll it. So like I looked at your, I'm on your marketing one. I see 101 people have endorsed you for that skill, which is awesome. That's 101 people that you should probably reach out to to say, hey, you know, how are you? What's been going on in your world? And start touching base with those people again to see, you know, now skills and endorsements are a lot. It's a lot easier to kind of endorse somebody kind of willy nilly. But, um, you know, if these are people that you've done work with before, 
um, or you have a relationship with, then it'd be worth reaching out and saying, Hey, and especially if it's brand new, you just got the endorsement. It's a great time to reach out and say, Hey, thanks so much oh my gosh. Um, for the, endorsement. okay. I need to process that because that's really good advice. I've never, ever, ever thought about how I could go through and use that to my advantage. I just thought it was like, eh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's nice. But, um, so for the dummy, you're saying I, what would, what would you recommend she do? Uh, Dave, I would, um, a couple things. So, so, you know, as we mentioned, like, uh, drag and drop those skills so that the top ones are appearing at the very top of your profile. So people don't have to click more to see all the others. So first do that. Second click, um, of those, of those skills that are apply applicable to what you do for a living, um, click them to see the people that have endorsed mm -hmm. you. Because by clicking them, it'll reveal who's endorsed you. And those are the people that you can reach out to and say, hey, hey, yeah, you know. this is what I've got going on. And uh, likewise, if you are somebody like me who your your focus on what you're doing for your career has shifted, maybe you don't want those the same things, those same different skills mm -hmm. to be the top three. You shift those. Yeah. And you yeah. can them. Like you can delete skills that are no longer applicable and you can add more as well. I think it's 50. My, I think it's 50 is yeah. the limit uh, of skills. And by the way, when you see a profile, when you're perusing uh, LinkedIn and you get an, uh, an update to say, Hey, would you like to endorse so-and-so for whatever? Um, those endorsements that LinkedIn is suggesting you endorse them for are coming directly from their skills. Wow. Wait, so if I put my skill in as master audio guy or something like that, then it's going to, yeah, it has, it would have to be, um, the skills are all right. predetermined. So by, by a LinkedIn's database. So you can't just say, you can't just make up a skill. It's got to be uh, like yeah. audio accounting or something, whatever or pod podcaster or podcasting production right, right. or something. You know, that's so interesting. Um, but then that beams it out to what happens that beams mm -hmm. it out to other people in my so, network or just random people. Yeah. Well, it'll, yeah. When you add it, people will see it um, when they look at your profile, cause it's at the top, but then also if those top, uh, those top link or those top skills will be recommended to your network to say, Hey, would you like to endorse Blake for mm -hmm. podcast engineering right. or whatever? Yeah. Right. So you're not going to be collecting. This is the thing is that if you are wanting to shift, for instance, look at this online communities. I have had an online community focus my entire career but yeah. association chat is a large community it's got most of my attention right now i'm trying to do less uh consulting work with social media and stuff like that and yet it's still beaming out it's it online communities is down here and it's got like eight what if i made that one of my pri what one of my primary three right right exactly. i mean and by the way um, from an SEO point of view, meaning search engine optimization and how people find you if they're searching for like an association mm -hmm. expert on LinkedIn, um, if it wouldn't hurt because LinkedIn recommends those skills, those are the, you know, those predetermined skills in, in LinkedIn's database, that's the language LinkedIn has preferred yeah. to use. Otherwise they would add these other random skills. So incorporating those top skills as keywords in your profile, in your summary, in your, um, in your, uh, title, uh, titles or in your profile, uh, summary at the very top, your headline, okay. incorporating those words would make a lot of sense. So if I'm searching for like producer or engineer or association, you know, whatever those would come up. Um, so you're more likely to show up in search results. Right. Like, uh, so what he has so it's sort of an SEO hack. So if he has right now, I'm back on Blake's. And so he has partner at human factor, audio design, podcasts, VR, and more and more. And, and right. what you're yeah. saying is, you know, maybe take that space and use that to really think, you know, how do you want to be found? How, people who are searching for certain things, what are they going to be looking yeah. for? And that would help you to be found more. That's good advice. Right, exactly. yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so Ryan. Would... Yeah, and human factor will show up. So you don't yeah. even have to include human factor in the name in that because it's right there next to you. Right. So, well, if, so if I'm a, um, if I'm a, if I'm a podcast for association <laughs> studio and I'm really busy mm -hmm. making shows yeah. all the time and I don't want to do this, yeah. I want to hire you. How long does it take? Do I have to have a big time commitment with you? Do you write this stuff for me? What what goes into something like that? And that's a killer setup for a yeah, plug, by the way. I know. This is your plug. Yeah. Ding, ding. <laughs> He's on like, yeah. Blake's feeling hot today. Um, so, 
Right. Yeah. So if you, so go back to my website, Dave Delaney.me for a mm-hmm. sec. All right. I can push this button and that button and then there you are. You got it. Okay. So on the top right link there, it's live LinkedIn profile audit. If you click that, that page has um, all the information that kind of walks you through. And a lot of what I'll be doing would be similar to what we did mm-hmm. today. Um, I'll talk to who, you know, whomever I'm working with, I'll, I'll, I'll spend a little time getting to know them to find out specifically what they're trying to do and even connect depending on, on your level, but I can talk through like connecting Google analytics and tracking links to your LinkedIn profile. So you can actually measure and see what's happening and have an idea of, you know, getting, getting that return on your investment. Um, and again, by the way, if you scroll down to the bottom of this and you see these testimonials from Ginger from Southwest Airlines and Stephanie from HCA, these are from my LinkedIn profile. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but for your listeners and viewers, um, I normally charge two ninety nine. I'll do I'll do this for you guys for hey, ninety nine. Wow, you're talking. that's fantastic! Thank and I'll you. Do, this do they need to use a code? Probably or? like ten people. I'd okay. Say, so, <laughs> I'm in. Um, and if you want that, go to. And I added a, a quick link to my PayPal. Okay. So if you want to do it really quick, Dave slash 99. Wait, Dave I got to write Delaney that down. Me. Uh, I, I don't have a graphic for that. Ready. Dot That's me. okay. All right. I'm doing it. Not and, great this second, too. Okay. I'll chat it to you. Okay. Too, so that way it goes right to my PayPal. But if you, if you use, I just made okay. it really quickly before the show. I want to give so, something back. So thank you. you. Later, That's so, so sweet. But, but, yeah, and yeah, they basically have. have how long do they have to do this? I'm probably going to do about 10. So it's kind of first come, first serve. Well, so. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, guys. For those of you who are watching um, on YouTube, then I just typed it into your chat there. But you know what? If you're listening to this later on the podcast, we do get these uploaded pretty quickly. And so if you're listening to this, and uh, you're one of, you know, there haven't been 10 people signed up. You might have a shot. So you might well, as well. Well, there's nine because the second try. we're done, I'm, I'm signing up. <laughs> okay, there's nine left. There you go. <laughs> there's nine left. Yeah, what about you? I know you get on there. Oh, man. Get I, on there. I, I got to spend more time with you. Yeah. I know. I didn't get a chance to look at your program. Well, you I appreciate oh. you taking the time to talk with us, Dave. I know that we spent some time yeah. on your website on davedelaney.me. Um, are there other ways that people can catch catch you or find more information about you? That's the best place. That's got links to all my social profiles, and you know I'm on you know all the usual places um, right. except Google Plus. Too soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you can yeah you can find me across social, and and my uh, I, I also have a personal newsletter that comes out every Friday that shares kind of nice links that I discover. Uh, nice stories, tools, tips. I like it. Like I like it. I do get it. I may not have remembered the name earlier, but it's one of the newsletters I make yeah. sure to listen or make sure to open uh, every week. And cool. it's good to have positive, positive news to, to look at. So thank you for doing that. And thank you for being our guest today. Thank you. Thanks for having oh, me, guys. Awesome. I appreciate it. Yes. And so for everybody else, you know, make sure that you tune in next week. Next week is our season finale. It'll we be call- epic. It's going to be epic. Um, it's our show finale. And I know that I was talking about not having the live shows for the month of March. Ironically, it turns out that I have a live show every week of March, but it's just not in the studio. <laughs> so... There you go. Um, But we will be coming back into the studio um, in April. So don't miss next week's season finale. Uh, It's going to be it's going to be pretty awesome. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. You ready for the girl? I am. Thanks for listening to Association Chat, produced by Amplified Growth and Human Factor. For more information on Amplified Growth, go to AmplifiedGrowth.net. And for more information on making podcasts for your association, go to Human Factor at HumanFactor.net. To hear past episodes, go to the Association Chat YouTube channel and subscribe. See you soon!